Hey everybody, this is Alex for Harmonica.com and the topic of today's video is top 6 songs from 1960s with cool harmonica riffs. Coming up next. Born in Chicago. Born in Chicago is a song by Paul Butterfield released on his debut album. The album presents band originals and songs in the style of electric Chicago blues. It is one of the first albums recorded in America featuring a white singer, trailing a few years behind the British blues movement, where white singers and musicians had been performing and recording blues since the late 1950s. The riff sounds like this. Drinking Muddy Water Drinking Muddy Water is a song by Yardbirds and it is an update of 1950 Muddy Waters blues classic Rollin' and Tumblin' and nominally a tribute to the bluesman. Jimmy Page worked as a session guitarist on Little Game's album, which includes this song and uses a slide guitar part to follow the vocal line. Later on, the same technique was used on Led Zeppelin's You Shook Me. Harmonica is played by Keith Relf, the lead singer of Yardbirds, and uses a repetitive riff that sounds like this. I should have known better. I should have known better was one of several songs written and recorded specifically for the Beatles debut movie A Hard Day's Night. The harmonica-driven arrangement by the group was similar to that heard on Frank Ifield's recording The Wayward Wind, a hit on the UK singles chart in March of 1963. Lennon's harmonica playing opens the track, the last occasion the Beatles were to feature this instrument on an intro and thus draws a line under a significant period of their early music. The riff here is playing melody through chords, uses a trill effect and it sounds like this. I'm ready. A song written by Willie Dixon and released as a single in 1954, but re-recorded in 1969 for the album Fathers and Sons. I'm Ready was inspired by a comment of Muddy Waters prior to a gig when a harmonica player Willie Foster visited him at home. While drinking, Waters ripped Foster for bringing a suitcase for a weekend. He said, I mean you ready, and Foster said, ready as anybody can be. Dixon proceeded to write this song and continued the use of swagger and supernatural imagery found in Hoochie Coochie Man. The harmonica riff sounds like this. From me to you. A song by Beatles released in 1963, first single to hit number one in the UK singles chart. The title was inspired by the name of the letter section of the New Musical Express magazine, which they had been reading, From You to Us. McCartney noted that their early songs tended to include the words I me or you in them, as a way of making them very direct and personal to the band's fans. Harmonica plays this melody. A song 
song by Stevie Wonder peaked at number two on the Billboard Pop Singles chart in July 1967. When asked in 1968 interview which of his songs stood out in his mind, Wonder answered, I was made to love her, because it's a true song. The song features Wonder's harmonica in the intro, strings following the bridge section, and the electric sitar. The last lyric line, you know Stevie ain't gonna leave her, was ad-libbed by Wonder. Chromatic harmonica plays this melody here. That's all for now. This is Alex for harmonica.com. Bye.